Hey guys, hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, so in the last episode we brushed up the last amount of stuff we had to do in the Dodongo's Cavern and we got to the boss room and we also found a treasure chest in here which gave us some bombs. Even though, well, <laughs> the funny thing is, um, I, I was recording this boss battle and uh, the recording messed up so I had to... Um, go back and I somewhat didn't make a save state so I had to do everything I did in the last video just to get back here and that's why I have only 13 bombs so I did and I did open the chest as well and I got some bombs from that so I had about nine bombs I think I had about nine so I've now got 13 bombs anyway we're gonna go drop down to our death <laughs> damn surprise you didn't break your leg like you did in Conker's Bad Friday <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Damn it. I look so small. Look how big he is, like He's like looking up at him. Where? <laughs> oh damn. That big mouth you have there, dude. Some big ass mouth. Yeah, well you're gonna have a taste of my bombs. How do you like my bombs? Do they taste do they taste good? Do they taste satisfying? Oh jeez, right. Hide, 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 hide. Yeah, if you stand in a certain part of the corner, he can't get you. Open wide, here comes the airplane. Yeah. Have a taste of this. How do you like that medicine? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you like that medicine? No, it's like, how do you like the taste of your own medicine? But yeah, he hasn't even done Well, he's trying to attack me, so I guess. Yeah, huh. Have a taste of your own medicine. Even though you you don't like bombs, do you? Makes you very ill. Hide, hide. Hide, hide. Alright. Open your big ass mouth. Open your huge, big, big, gigantic, ginormous mouth and choke on my bombs. See, look how easy that was, man. Like I said in the last video, easier than Goma. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, trust me, the bosses are going to get a lot more harder than that, and a lot more challenging, but that is the easiest boss in the game. Undoubtedly, the easiest boss in the game. And he's drowning in the fire. <laughs> but you're a fire type. You're a fire, you're a fire type Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you're... I choose you, King Dodongo. Well... Yeah, you're a fire dragon thing so I don't see why you shriveled up in the fire unless you absorb it and then you like overpowered yourself with so much fire that you disintegrated and now you've turned into soot you got all soot all over you basically you're just an ash pile you're nothing but an ash pile oh please don't hurt my feelings yeah well too bad all right let's get our heart container you got a heart container this has refilled your maximum life energy. It's increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Yay! I got my heart container filled. I got another heart container. Alright, let's go into the blue light. Don't go into the light! Don't go into the light. Because it is taking me to a better place, which is heaven. Because, like, people say when you're about to die like don't go towards the light oh god it's you again you just fell from the sky what are you dude don't bash my head in man you need to give me brain hemorrhage thanks to you we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cabin until our stomachs burst what a wild adventure it will make an incredible story I can't believe that the Dodongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers and that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been cur cur caused cursed, <laughs> caused by that Gerudo thief Gandalf. He said give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You on the other hand risked your life for us. Yeah, tell me about it. There was hell in there man, you don't even know the half of it. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, that's no, no. There's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. What do you mean? 
What? What token? Could this be? Our next spiritual stone? Possibly. Let's find out. It's red. It's fire. It's... 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 A... You obtained the Goron Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones, so you have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up your, on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Deck, Great Decky Tree. <laughs> Would the Great Decky Tree be living in a place like this? Seriously, Great Fairy, on top of Death Mountain, she will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see if our let's see if our brother. Because when you speak too quickly, your mind says one thing, and then you mess up your words. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Dude, you crush me. You're like rock people, and I'm just like a normal human. You'll crush my bones. Then I have to go to the hospital. Break my bones, man. Well, actually, there is something I want to get. There is something I want to get before the end of the episode. And I don't want you guys bothering me either, so go away. Back off. I have a sword. I have a dagger. I have a kitchen knife. And I have bombs too, so I wouldn't mess with me. And just blow this thing up that we came because I didn't mention this before, I think, that there was a god skull behind here. And I wanted to get that out the oh, god stupid C buttons. Don't mess me up now. Alright. There we go. Nice and easy. And believe it or not, this wall is climbable. You destroyed a god skull to though. Because normally that would be out of reach and you couldn't be able to get it, so. They were kind enough to make that wall climbable, so we could actually get that thing. And that's there is more. I think I think there's like one more like that with a gold skull to in. But there are chests with those in as well. So in the next episode, um, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode, we'll be um, scaling Death Mountain, I guess, towards the Great Fairy, whatever he said. Said that she'll power us up, power us up. Power us, power us up, yeah, power us up. Um, so yeah, until then, this is MDM saying thanks for watching, and goodbye. Oh god, it's night time. This can't be good. This means there must be vampires. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to go hide somewhere for the night. I'll hide over here with this Gorn. He'll protect me from the vampires, won't you, sir? Yes. Yes, you will. So until then, this is MDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.